Hey guys, and welcome to another Roll of Tanks gameplay video. Um, today I'm playing my AMX 5100, which is a French D8 heavy tank. Um, it's a very good tank, in my opinion. It's uh, it's not really a heavy tank. The this tank was designed with mobility and firepower in 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 mind. Um, it has absolutely no armor, and because of that, you are a support tank and not a main battle tank. You should never be the first one in line. And uh, it doesn't matter whether you're playing random battles, company battles, or uh, tournaments. You should always make sure that you have a couple of real heavy tanks in front of you. Your job is just to support them. And do as much damage as possible without getting hit. <coughs> We're on uh, Ruinberg, it's a standard battle for once. I'm going into the city because uh, I know most of our tanks are going to the city. And that's where I want to be. I want to be with uh, you know, the other tanks because, again, I'm a support tank. You should never go somewhere on your own with this thing. It really needs a, a team. Finish that T25 too. Quickly checking if there's anything else that I can hit without getting completely fucked up myself so and there isn't and that's why I'm reloading now after shooting just four shells because I know there's gonna be a whole lot more enemies here in a while and then I want to be fully reloaded when they uh, get spotted as you can see this tank is really really quick quick it's got also good agility, it's, it turns quick, etc. It has an amazing gun, uh, an autoloader with 6 shells which do 300 damage each. You have, I don't know how much penetration, 240 or something. Um, of course once you're out of shells you will have to reload for uh, 46 seconds. And uh, when that happens, you'll be glad to have a, a couple allies next to you. Because if you're reloading, even a, even the smallest tank can, can kill you. Because you have no armor. That's why you really should always make sure that you're not alone. At any time you should have as much, well, at least one one or two enemy, uh, allied tanks with you to hide behind when you're reloading. Here I want to finish that type, but it's a really difficult shot. This gun isn't the most accurate gun in the game, but it's certainly accurate enough. Dodging a couple of RT shells. Oops, already there, I don't want to get hit by him. wait for that panther 2 to move in and then I move up myself because I can't stay here forever reloading again so another 46 and a half seconds that I'm out of the game. Uh, every time I reload I press F8 to tell my team that I'm reloading and then they know that they don't have to depend on me to back them up for at least 45-46 uh, seconds. T-44 here is uh, flanking uh, my allied tanks so he has to go first here 
I'm not angling my uh, my tank. What I'm doing is I'm making I'm I'm the ammo rack is in the side there, and uh, I just wouldn't want him to ammo rack me. So I'm making him hit the front of my tank simply because I know that this tank has a tendency of, of getting ammo wrecked in the side this happened to me from both the right and the left side it's uh, really annoying because if you get ammo wrecked and already used your rep kit it takes 80, 85 seconds uh, to reload which is just dreadful You know, if you don't get uh, ammo rack killed in one shot, that is. Here I'm going to be, I'm the only one back in base, so the team is depending on me to make sure these guys don't get, I get a unlucky tracking shot. Quickly dodge that KV-1S shell. I have two shells left and I only need two to kill them if I penetrate every single shot. So uh, right now every shot counts and I really have to make make sure that, that I hit. And here I take my time to aim on that uh, T20. I don't want to miss or get an, an unlucky tracking shot because then he can just easily finish me off. There's no way I could run away here. There's no way I can reload fast enough. And now I'm just standing back. Game is over and we've won. And it's a win. That's uh, my first double of the day now. I found a way to uh, to include the after battle reports uh, into my videos now, just by quickly frapsing after every good game. Uh, so there you can see 5.3k damage, uh, 6.8k triple XP. One of my better matches in this tank. Um, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.